Hello everyone, I'm Randy Suarez, aka Silvercoat. Today we're back here with another Mall's World reaction. Uh, this time right to one of his newer videos, Can You Check the Back? Now this most likely deals with people who, a customer, asking, you know, a retail or cashier, hey, can you check the back, see if you got any, or something to do with grocery stores, or any other thing that deal with retail at the point that they sell, um, I'm gonna say merchandise, but sell merchandise, processed goods, and so on, so on and so forth. Now, there are sometimes customers get upset when the uh, either the person that they're asking to check the back can't because they meet a certain quota. So, hey, I can't check the back because it's so yada yada. And sometimes the customers get upset. So, but I'm curious about this sketch. So, if you like any of this content, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Like, comment, and subscribe to Mall's World himself. I will leave the original link to this video down below in the description. You can watch it uninterrupted. And without further ado, let's get started. Hey, how you doing, bro? Um, do you still have this in stock money, Chad? Ooh. No, come on, man. I'm sorry, sir. I just saw the last one like five minutes ago, but mm -hmm. I'm positive another store got that product. Just give me a moment to just check it. Can you check the back, please? What? Yeah, I'm asking if you can just check the back. You know, just double check because I feel mm -hmm. like, you know, there's one more just laying around somewhere, you know? Oh, okay. But I'm positive that it's not in the back because, like I said, I just sold the last one not too long ago, but I, another store does have Okay, I hate you, but oh, okay, just, just come on. You know, I just feel better if you like double check. You know, just to confirm. Well, I don't doubt you, but you know, just, just confirm it, you know? Sir, yeah. I am actively looking for a solution to your problem, which is fine. Which is, here's the thing, when they tell you that another store has it, okay, here's the thing. Last year, I was trying to get a new phone, which I did. But the current store that I was, ha that I was trying to get the new phone from didn't have it, but, to, but a store that was like, 15 minutes up the road did and so he and I'm driving up to that store to get it along the way I did I get upset that that store didn't get it no he said hey can you come back in the next two hours or so I'm like sure I don't have no issue with that I don't see the people I don't understand why people don't understand that point I'm like hey if they don't have it they don't have it if you need to go to another store to get it get it then go to that store if you don't have time that's understandable too but at the same time, it is not their problem. They're trying to give you an, they are trying to give you an answer to fix the solution to that problem. But you act like it's their fault. It's not. The store five minutes away from here that has an endless supply of the product that you're looking for. Me going to the back would literally be a waste of my time. Waste of your time. Okay, I, I get it. You, you're lazy. You just don't want to do your job, and that's okay. And customers will respond just like that. And I'm like, dude. And they wonder why people hate working retail. Because ignorant people like that always happens. My girlfriend works in retail. I eat. Let's put it this way. I work at a place that requires me to deal with people. Because, yes, I am a security officer, uh, security officer. But it does require me to deal with people. It requires me to be more customer service than anything else sometimes. Well, most of the time. And... There are some cases that I'm like, hey, this is not, this is above my pay grade. I don't have to deal with this. And they have to bad mouth or tell my client, and a client come tell me and tell my supervisor, and my supervisor tell, tell, tell you know, I'm telling her like, hey, what do you want him to do? It's not his fault that they call it an attitude. Just because you're having a bad day or, or having a, somewhat of a bad attitude does not give you the right to basically do stuff like this. I get it, it's Sunday, you wanna go home, you're too tired and lazy to do your job and help a customer out. I fully understand. As a matter of fact, where's the keys to the warehouse? I will do your job and look for it myself. All right, back here you go. I'm looking for it. You serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Hey, the door's right behind you, make sure you make mm -hmm. a left past the back. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, thanks, man. Of course, of course. Hey, quick question, Um, do you prefer the right hand or the left hand? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? I'm asking you which hand you want me to use so I can, like, you know, prepare, you know, get warmed up and all that. Okay, <laughs> that's what I thought you said. Why, why are you asking me that? Well, sir, I don't want you to leave here empty handed, you know? Because after you realize the product that you was looking for, the same product that I told you multiple times that you mm -hmm. didn't have, I'm going to beat you. I'm going to beat you so bad that every time a customer comes into the store, I want them to think that we're shooting the ketchup commercial. That, that's how much blood is going to be spilled. Mm -hmm. And of course, me wanting to provide nothing but excellent customer service, I'm giving you the option to up which hand is going to do the honors. You know what? You know what? It's 
cool. I'm leaving right there. You said five minutes, right? The, the mm-hmm. nearest house? Okay. Yeah, five minutes. By the door, you, you're not getting away with this. You, you're not. I'm going to make sure that you get this complimentary knuckle sandwich, all right? Shout out to Ridgewell for sponsoring this video. Yeah, yeah. Complimentary, compliment, well, complimentary knuckle sandwich. Yes. I ain't doing the ad for. Uh, if you got, you know, anything to do with a Ridge wallet, hey, use his promo code. As far as I go, use his promo code. Um. Anyway, yeah. And this is one thing I don't understand about customer service. You know, um, especially if it's more now that you could do, you know phone customer service and even then that gets out of hand because people are upset and i understand that but at the same time like doesn't that give you the right to take your attitude off on another person that's why you take times like, i know what i understand it's not your fault i get maybe some part of my fault i'm sorry that is it but some people don't see it that way they see retail workers as slaves and sometimes you know yelling and berate them which i don't understand like bro if you were in this person's shoes and doing that you will not stand for this crap but that being said that's all i can say about it that being said if you like any of this content please like comment subscribe to my channel like comment subscribe to mall's world himself i will leave the original link to this video down below in the description so you could watch it uninterrupted and all i can say is please Please, show restraint and show respect to the retail. In the anyone that deal with customer service, show respect. Don't catch an attitude with them. I understand that you're frustrated, and I get it. But remember, put yourself in their shoes and see if you have that same type of attitude when you're getting yelled at by someone that you don't know. All right? Stay hydrated. Take care of yourselves. And peace out. Go ahead.